I think it's not just in Hollywood. I think around the world, the idea of being different and being black and being self-loved, I think that's a, a breath of fresh air for a lot of people. And as an actress, she wants to challenge herself and obviously challenge you know, the world and let that door open to someone that deserves that and can tell that story. There's a certain um, energy about a trans woman that only a trans woman can bring to the earth. There's room at the table for everyone. So I'm just happy that I can see um, I can see those stories and looking back and I have these conversations with the ladies who are they're playing, like Carmen Extravaganza, like Ajene Milan, like all these women I mentioned, they feel like, wow, my story is for the world to see and it's glorified around the world. And now we're having a conversation about that. What they did and the struggles that they had and the dreams that they had are coming to alive eventually and finally. And right now they're all breathing through me in this moment. You know, my father, he was this military sergeant, black man living on the south side of Chicago, and he didn't know anything about being gay or transgender. But he just knew that I was a child that needed love. And this is what it looks like when you give your child love. They can do wonder, and they can go in the world and, and, and just light the room up. I would say take your time. You are a very special, special, special person in this world. Each person possesses this, this moment and this time of like questioning who are they and where do they belong and who, what is their sexuality and that's a, very, that's a very special moment and a lot of people deny that experience and you know they see other people live through it in their liberation and you know they think of themselves like what if, what if I could have or what I should have or it's not too late to have it because that's what makes us special. I knew that a moment will come. It was a dream come true, honestly. Well, I first moved to New York City when I was 17, and no agency in all America and some parts of Europe would not sign me. I would go to these agencies and they would laugh in my face and they would say, oh, you will never make it, or your skin is too dark, your, your body's not shaped the right way, you're, you, know, you don't fit what we're looking for, and give up. So um, I needed that because that added to my armor. I know what I had to fight for.